Hey YouTube, uh, welcome back to another Midwest DIY video. Um, today we're going to be um, starting our generator install. Uh, so right now I back feed through my garage and I want to actually put a breaker in the house for the generator. So I've got everything you need to get that started today. I'm going to do everything to get the breaker installed and get the wire run and then I can just turn that breaker off and then work on putting the plug on the outside. So I've got a length of 8 gauge wire. Um, my house is on natural gas and doesn't use a lot of power, so I'm only gonna be running a 3,500 watt generator and that should be good enough for my needs, so eight gauge is good. Uh, you can run six if you have, um, I think eight gauge is good up to 50 amps. I think 50 amps might be on the border. Um, so, you know, do your homework and check out your amperage. I've got a couple of tandem breakers. Uh, so my box is full, so I need to move some circuits over. I've already done the research and I know that I can fit, uh, I think I've got 36 circuits in the box now. Um, and the limit's 40, so I can uh, double up a couple of them to make room for this 40 amp. So this is what I'm going to actually put the generator on is this 40 amp breaker here. And then I've got the generator interlock. So uh, I'll actually show you how that works in the house too when we actually get to the install for this. And then I've got a couple of box um, knockout grommets. Um, I didn't measure which side I needed. I just bought both of them at the hardware store because I didn't... I got kind of lazy there. So that that's what you'll need to uh, install a generator in your house, or at least the first part for the wiring. Uh, at the end, um, I'll probably do another series or another video on how to install a plug. I've got the plug right here. I've just got a, a outdoor rated box. Um, so that'll come, but I want to get the wire installed in the house while I got the breaker off, or while I have the main off, and then I can just flip the 40 amp breaker and work downstream of it. So uh, let's get started. All right, YouTube, uh, now that we're in the house, we're gonna get started on our install. So um, the panels will come off different. This is a square DQO panel. Uh, I think it's an older style, but it's got these, it's got six of these flat heads right here. So there's two there, two on the bottom, and two on the top. I actually like to do before I flip the main breaker is turn all the sub breakers off so that you don't arc the main breaker. There's no full power going to like your furnace or anything. <laughs> Man, I didn't like that. And then when you're done with all that, flip the main, and then you can take these screws out. If you're not comfortable working around electricity or don't have a ton of experience, this is the part in the video where I tell you to be careful um, and that this is just for viewing purposes and not meant to be instructional in any way. So I'm just going to get these screws out and then we'll come back. So a little piece of aluminum I showed you in the garage is the generator interlock and what it does is this piece goes right here. You have to drill holes in your box. Is that coming through okay? Yeah, and then this will sit on here and it'll keep you from flipping both breakers. So if it's down like this, the main will clear the top, but you can't turn your breaker on right here. If it's up, you can't turn the main on, but you can turn your breaker on right here. That's why I had to get those tandems, and that's why the 40 amp is going to go right here so that my interlock will function properly. And what it's meant to do is it's meant to keep you from turning the main on when you have your generator going. Okay, so this is your box, um, and just a couple notes here. So none of these... Breakers will be hot because we turn the main off. The two, the power coming in from the top of your box will still be hot. So that's coming right from the pole. The breaker cuts the power from those wires to the box. So be careful, don't touch those, they're still hot. And some boxes do have power coming in from the bottom. So you'll have stuff coming in from down there instead.
got those four breakers out. Um, so I have four panel or four spots in my box. And what I'm using is these tandem breakers. So I'm going to take, I'm going to take these two that are single throw and I'm going to put both of the hots on this one breaker. I have a video on this or another video on this, but you want to make sure that you get the right tandem breakers to fit in your box. You can see how the back of these match up. Some of the tandem breakers have a hook. Um, they'll have a hook for this one. And so you want to make sure you have the right one. And how you can tell if you have the hook is um, there'll be a little slot in the back of your box here. Go check out my other video if you're interested. Just snug those down tight, give them a little tug, make sure they're in there good. I had to go get a smaller screwdriver for that one. We can put our generator breaker in. So I've got this 40 amp here. And that is just going to snap into both. There you go. That went in pretty hard. And so did that. Okay. Brand new breakers, I guess. So this would be our generator circuit right here. On, off. Uh, so now we actually have to get the wire ready. And then I've been trying to fish this wire through the wall. So the panel, the way my panel is structured is it goes straight down. So it goes straight down into the crawl space. So what I did to figure out which hole I should put it through, there's a bunch of holes down there in, um, in the floor where wires go through. Is I took this little light I have and I just stuck it down in here like that. And then I just crawled around under there and saw where I could see the light from. And that let me know which hole to put the wire through. So I took my... Um, eight gauge wire down there, found out which hole I should put it through, stuffed it up. And so now it's it's kind of there. Um, let me see if I can actually get you guys a better view. See it, it's that black wire on the back right there. That's the one we're looking for. I just need to get it. A nightmare um so i made this and all it is is a three foot piece of flagpole that i smashed a um oh well, this is a aluminum fence tie i have a thing of these in the garage because i could see the wire down in there but i couldn't get it out so i just needed something to fish it around with and i got tired of thinking around pliers and everything so uh, just a long aluminum rod with a hook on it and then here's your generator wire yeah.
here's how we're gonna do this. I'm gonna I'm gonna run the neutral up first because it's the highest, and then I can trim my other wires accordingly. So there's a big neutral right here with a screw on it. So that's where we're gonna run our neutral. I can run it up through here without causing too much trouble. Might have to finagle some of your wires. Took our work, and now we have our neutral wire figured out. Just gonna push the rest of the neutral wire over a little bit. So my phone died in the middle of this and I didn't realize it, so I'll have to go back and do some editing, but that's fine. Um, so we got our neutral in. It's this large screw right here one above my finger. We have our red and our black and the 40 amp breaker right here. Get you close to that. Yep. Um, it doesn't matter which order they go in. And then now we're gonna run our ground. So the ground is gonna go in that bar down there. It's this last wire here. So when you're doing this, it's always easiest to run the tallest wire first. I put my players back in the garage and I was waiting for my phone to charge and I still needed the wire cutters, but good old other men of the rescue. Uh, right about there ought to do it. Give yourself a little bit more than you think you're going to need because um, <laughs> cutting it again or having to trim all them and pull more wire up is a pain. Uh, what are you? I'm sure some electricians out there having a stroke that I'm using all metal players in the in a box, but it'll be all right. Uh, you look fine. Run that up through there. Actually, I'm going to swap it to the other side because I'm going to push all these wires over there. Just so it has a little bit of a cleaner look. Not that it matters. It's all one solid metal bar. And your grounds can touch, so don't worry about that. Okay. All right. And then we're going to just kind of move everything over there. Get out of the way. And there you go. That's how you install a fancy generator. Um, I am probably just going to do some tidying up and get this cleaned up a little bit, but you guys don't need to see that. Um, for all intents and purposes, we're done. Uh, I am going to save the... I'm going to save um, putting the interlock on for another day.
our box spec installed. So we got our two new breakers here, we got our 40 amp here. And so the 40 amp right now is just running to a, um, the wire, there's nothing at the end of the wire. I gotta do the outside plug first for the generator. So um, that one's just always gonna stay off because it's gonna be for the generator. So it'll only be on when the main's off. So you don't have to worry about it right now, um, but I wanted to get the wire run so that the next time I have to mess with this, I don't have to take the panel off and have all the power off and um, have the furnace off and everything like that. So flip our main breaker back on and let there be light. Uh, that's it for today. Um, please make sure to like and subscribe if this video helped you out. And thanks and have a good day.